Hello, welcome back to my channel, it's Karen. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. I have little Peggy out this week. Oh yes, this is what I've decided to call her. Little Peggy is the Aliana, Alina, uh, single practice finger. So um, I have a nice long nail tip in her and it's all buffed and ready to go. I should say whenever you're using the extra long nail tips, only buff the bit that you'll be working on, otherwise they don't stay put. But um, as you can see, the suction on them is really good because um, they sit nice and far down the fingers. So they're brilliant. Um, I will leave the website down below if you want to go purchase one. So anyway, we're ready to go. Let's get started. Okay, so I'm starting off with this beautiful color called Ella from Bling Line. It is the most gorgeous blush pink. Just look at that. It's stunning. I love it. And if you haven't figured out, I am obsessed with blush pink. And um, I blame Elaine over at Elaine J Nail Artist. Go check out her channel, it's linked below. But um, it is absolutely stunning. I just love all blush pink. And obviously, Nail Sugar has had a, a new makeover. So if you haven't seen it, go over and have a look at the website, www.nailsugar.co.uk. And it's just, oh, I just, I adore it. I love it. And we do have a new crystal boutique as well too. So for any of you that love crystals, go check it out. And we will be adding lots more to it as well too soon. Um, so yeah, so jumping in here with Ella and I'm just gonna put a nice light coat on first. I end up doing two coats of this here to build up the opacity. Um, I like to keep my layers off hard gel thin whenever I'm working with colors to make sure that I get a really good cure. So once I have the first one cured, then I go in and I do a second one, but I'm not going to show you guys because it's just the same thing, um, just kind of the same process over again. So, so yes, yeah, so once I have my two coats on, then we will move on to the next step. Okay, so this is Sugar Baby. I'm going to be using this glitter as well as a beautiful gold holographic, which you will see now, which is called Gold Digger, both available from Nail Sugar. I do use a darker pink hollow as well down the line, um, which I decide to add in, but um, you'll see that in a bit. So I'm going to go in with a slip layer because I want to cure my glitter onto this slip layer um, so that when I'm encapsulating it, it does not move. And um, so I'm putting that on really thin and then using a glitter applicator brush, I'm just going in and just kind of just sort of like doing the regular patterns, if you will. I did have a reference pick of a, I think it was a camo uh, water bottle that I had spotted um, because there's been a whole water bottle saga this week. I've got new water bottles for me and Happy and um, yeah, that's thanks to Kelly over at Chronically Creative telling me not to reuse water bottles that I buy in shops because of the stuff that's in the chemicals, it's in the plastic. So I was like, right, okay, I'm going to treat myself to a nice water bottle. Anyways, um, so there we go. So that's where the inspiration came from, a water bottle of all things. And no, I didn't buy the camo one. I bought a plain blush pink one. Go figure. But it is beautiful. It is gorgeous. Um, so yes, yeah, so I'm just dipping in now to some of that gold digger and I'm just kind of working it on there. Just, you know, just kind of doing a wee regular pattern and sort of going with it and using my reference pick. And that's a good thing. If you have a reference pick, put it onto a tablet or computer or something that you have nearby and just keep looking at it and it'll guide you um, on your way. I know camo is probably like one of the easiest things to do, but in my mind patterns, I need to have a reference pick. I work better when I have a reference pick with me. So um, I decided also to pop in some of this here, um, this beautiful blush pink, which is called Dusky Pink. It's not a blush pink, it's dusky pink, sorry. And this here is a hollow, um, just a hollow dusky pink color. And uh, again, available from Nail Sugar. It's a fine, just like the other glitters that I'm using. And uh, yeah, it's just a really nice tone. I wanted something in there to have a bit of contrast because um, my initial thoughts were to put in some rose gold, but I thought it would be a little bit too sort of samey. I wanted to have something that was contrasting uh, a little bit better. So once I have that all placed, we're gonna go into the lamp for a double cure and make sure that that glitter is cured on there really well before jumping into the next step. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, so now for encapsulating, and I am using my Cool One Step Gel, which is one of my favorite gels. And um, I tend to use this and the fiber quite a bit. Um, they seem to be my favorites. I love the fiber as well. Um, if you want me to do sort of like a, a gel consistency, um, sort of variation kind of video, let me know. Um, because I know there's some beginners out there that sort of, you know, struggle with sort of what gel works best for what. So if you guys ever want me to do anything like that, let me know and I will be more than happy to help. Um, I've kept this bit in real time just to show you guys. Um, I just sort of take my time and I'm encapsulating this bit is sped up um, because I think that whenever it's sped up, sort of people assume that, you know, you're doing it really quick and, oh, you know, wow, you know, that's really quick and nifty and, and all the rest of it. But in reality, I am taking my time and making sure that my side walls and all are done. And once I'm happy, I turn it upside down, let the gel sort of self-level that little bit, and then we go into the lamp for a cure. And I thought now's a good time as any to mention that I'm actually running a giveaway at the minute. So if you haven't already checked it out, it's a surprise nail art bundle and a new e-file worth $349. So go check that out after this video. I will leave the link in the description below. Okay, so now it's time to get that inhibition layer off using my little wipe and alcohol and I really give it a really good rub down, so I do. And then we're gonna go in with filing, which I'm gonna do off screen because it's a nightmare trying to do it on camera. So um, I shall see you in a moment when the nail's all filed and looking fabulous. Okay, so now it's time to add in our camo detail that'll really pull everything together. I've put some um, sort of blush pink gel polish onto a palette and using my Nat Mug brush, of course, I'm just gonna pull the end of that brush through and um, just so that it sort of doesn't build up and, and roll back down the brush. So whenever you're using gel polish or the likes, always sort of, you know, pull it through a few times just to really kind of prime the brush. And um, yeah, so I'm just gonna now be painting on some random, camo marks again i have my reference picture sitting and i'm just kind of using it as a bit of a guide the great thing about this like i and it seems to be these designs that i really love is the ones where you don't have to be technically neat um especially if you have shaky hands like i do um which are a nightmare when it comes to detail work and whenever you're doing um designs like this here you can kind of you know that's not a worry because in fact the shakier the hand the better the design's going to be because it's camo it's an irregular design so i'm just kind of going to work my way through that and um and yeah just kind of like just put little bits here and there sort of where i feel looking in like i say i keep referring to that picture to just give me a guide but I'm not um, I'm not copying it bit for bit just wanted to kind of give me a little bit of a guide as to um, as to where to put the markings really Okay, so in this bit, I'm kind of looking at it and I'm going, yeah, that looks really nice, but it looks like clouds, Karen. Um, we kind of got to do something about that. So <laughs> I decided then to sort of go in and start joining up some of those sections together. And that just changed the entire look completely. All of a sudden, it looked like camo and less like clouds. So I was really chuffed with this. And, uh, and then we go into the lamp and uh, I'm gonna cure that and then we will move on to our top coating. Okay, so now onto the top coat and just look at that glitter reveal. Oh, I love it so much when you see all the sparkle coming through from a 
you know, from a buffed meal, it's just gorgeous. What you will need to do though, because obviously we have put some uh, of the, the gel polish on, and if you, um, because we've done that design, um, you're gonna need to obviously top coat it a few times, um, just to make sure that you don't have any little sort of, you know, bumps in that there, and it will even it all out. I do have a hard gel top coat, which is a wet look finish, um, which I could have used as well. Um, but for some reason I didn't, I just went with this one, but there we go. Uh, but that's it, that is the finished look and I absolutely love it. Um, even though I am not a camo girl, I just think it is fab. I love the sparkles, I love the blush pink. I just think it's fun, it's just different, it's unique, you know? Are you a camo person, do you like it? Um, is it your kind of thing? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. And also don't forget about our little giveaway as well too. Well, in fact, quite a big giveaway that we're running. So, um, so yeah, I will speak to you guys soon. Thanks so much indeed for watching. Have a wonderful week. Stay safe. And thanks for stopping by. Bye.